Ali, welcome to Darton Football Club. Lee. I've been trying to catch you for the last fortnight. But uh, your last club was in Saudi Arabia, but you played quite a bit in the North East before then. Yes, I did. So I've been in England for about 14, 15 years now. So I moved I moved to England when I was about eight years old. Um, so I went to school here, I went to college, and I even went to university. Um, so I, I started off my career at Newton Aircliff. Uh, moved to concert where I worked with Terry for two years and then afterwards got to move to heaven and then afterwards after that uh, I got to move to Saudi so yeah I'm more I'm more knowledgeable of, of football in the UK so <laughs> I have I've had my fair share of experience in the UK and then moved back for for two years you mentioned there that you played at concert with Terry yeah and you, you had the honor of going all the way through to the vast final at Wembley where you where you played heaven, but unfortunately, it, it was empty. But you still scored, though, didn't you? I think you scored the opening goal that day. Yeah, I did. I did. Um, yeah, so I did. I worked. I worked with Terry for two years, and and his, his style of play really, really suits me as a player. Um, he, he likes to play football. Uh, most of it's on the floor, as you know. Some some English teams it's usually long balls and then a bit more scruffy. Um, so Terry's style of play really suited me. Um, and then and, and which was the reason why we got to Wembley. Um and we played football throughout that full that full bars run. Um and I did score at Wembley. It was it was a very good game. Um, but we just didn't we didn't we didn't keep it tight after we we scored. So I scored and then we conceded within the first couple of minutes. And it was the same thing with the second goal as well. So but it was a great experience, as you said, to play at Wembley. It's a it's a dream come true to be fair. How did it feel though to, to score at Wembley? Because you want to celebrate in front of everybody, don't you? And you know, there was just all these empty red seats apart from half a dozen people in the in the media yeah. area. If if I'm being totally honest, mate, I, I really couldn't I couldn't describe how I felt. Or I can't even describe how I feel. It was it was such a surreal experience from from playing at a, at a stadium that I've always dreamt of playing at. But to play, as you said, or to score in an empty stadium, it was a uh, it was just a bit a bit short. But yeah, it was it was a great experience overall. So you played a concert and then Hebburn. Uh, you went over to Saudi Arabia and played for a couple of clubs over there. How does the standard of football in Saudi Arabia compare with over here, apart from that division that Ronaldo's in, of course? Yes, yeah, so I would say the the, the 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 level in Saudi is is same, but the style of play is totally different. Um, I would say that the Saudi football, especially in, in the yellow league, the league that I played, it was just it's a league below the the, the league that Ronaldo plays in the, the Premier Division. Um, the play is a lot more possession based, um, a lot more slower, um, compared to the UK where it's 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 fast paced, it's it's a little bit more aggressive. Um, but the, the the level of players technically is is, is very high. It's a, it's a very high standard, and I, I think like being totally honest, I think. Darlow would, would have a very good shout at, at, at actually performing in, in, in that league. Now, before you went to Saudi, you played for England universities where you were studying Newcastle, weren't you? And, and uh, you did quite well with them. Yes, it was at Northumbria University. Um, mm. So I had I had the honours to play for England University where we, we played in the, in the national tournament and we actually beat Wales and Scotland and, and actually achieved that. So, yeah, played... For North Northumbria University, we won the league that year, and we won the uh, national tournament with the England Unis as well. So yeah, that yeah. was also a great. Yeah. So you're in Saudi, and you decided to come back to England. And how did you feel when Terry got in touch? Yeah, I was I was over the moon to be fair. I've always had the 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 idea in the back of my head of, of potentially coming back. It was a great experience to play in Saudi for two years, but as soon as I I got in touch with Terry and. and the offer was there to come back to the UK and, and to play for for such a club. I, I didn't I didn't think twice about it. Um, I wanted to enjoy my football, and I knew under Terry and under Steve that I would do that. Um, and as soon as I start enjoying my football, that's why I performed at my best. So what have you made of your two games so far? You came on as a sub at Kings Lynn, and then you started the game at Rush All Olympic on Saturday. Yes, yeah, so the, the first two games, I, I could say that Darlow have got a style of play. We've, we've got an identity on the pitch. Um, as, you, as you know, we take the lead on, on both the matches that I've played at. And we just don't seem to, to hold it till, till the final whistle. So we fell short and I think it's just a little bit of luck um, just to be able to, to cross that line. And I, I felt like we deserved both of the wins on Saturday, um, the, the first game against Kings Lynn. And against Russia, especially that we kept it tight the entire game, we were ahead. But 
it was just keeping it tight until the final whistle. Um, and I, and I'm sure that will happen. Hopefully that happens this this Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday tomorrow night at Chorley. It's I'm sure the lads have said it's a it's a tough game, but we'll be going there full of confidence, won't we? I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, I think I think I think we'll, we'll well deserve the, the first away win of the league. Um, we've we've had two good performances the last two games, and I think I think as soon as we get that first win out the way, the the wins will just keep going, and, and we'll get going after that.